Well, there'll be pennies from heaven. Well, I used to have a, a lot of people, maybe who were more in the old guard, telling me, you know, you got to pick a horse. You know, uh, are you are you going to go with straight ahead jazz, or are you going to do uh, some kind of indie folk thing? And I just never could because I loved the elements of jazz, of improvisation, interaction, the rhythms, the the harmonies, the richness of it, and I loved the you know the narratives and the stories. Uh, of these other songs and so I just uh, that was what was real for me. It's just become what our music is is this combination of of jazz elements and singer-songwriter elements being like story and a more like cinematic approach to the music rather than traditional jazz instrumental context. And I think like Cassandra Wilson and people like that kind of opened the door and said this is where a place where jazz can go. It, it's a pretty rare thing where we um, come and, and work with both the jazz ensemble and a vocal jazz ensemble. So, um, and we're doing material that we've kind of culled together from a lot of different sources and, and um, stuff that I, I did with John Hollenbeck's large ensemble and um, other things that I did, a Gil Evans project that I did with um, Ryan Truesdale. Because you know for certain that he will love you. students as far as we're hearing so far are like really talented um, really advanced uh, jazz students and so and I'm gonna be getting to sing with some of them like duetting with them and in the concert and you know I'm just stoked to see what the young you know the young people are doing up there we have, whenever we do a concert here in, in town he sits on the stage with us and he's he's a member of the band for sure but da 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 da